Dear Mr. Dobray, since I seem unable to complete the job to your satisfaction, I hereby resign as a writer for your publications, blah, 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 blah. I rejected your Outlaw of Torn manuscript, and you want to quit on me? I rewrote it twice, and you still didn't like it. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a writer. Nonsense, Ed. You're a great writer. I loved your first book. A Princess of Mars was one of our all-time bestsellers. Yeah, beginner's luck. I just don't have it anymore. You know what you need, Ed? Inspiration. Inspiration? Sure. You know, you're just walking down the street and BAM! An idea hits you! Inspiration. 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 Oh. Huh. Mysterious jungle man, is he the missing link? Inspiration. Samuel T. Philander. Okay, doctor. I start with you. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Number nine. What do you want? Uh, I, I, I'm. Uh, are you Samuel T. Philander? Who wants to know? I was hoping that I could speak to you about this article you wrote, the, the one about the missing... Oh. Quickly, quickly! Go! Yes, um, sorry about that, but there's an awful lot of riffraff about, so one can't be too careful. Belanda, I know you're in there, you snake! No more excuses, you hear me? I want that red money, and I want it today! Or I'm throwing you and your junk out on the street! <laughs> You'd think having a scientific genius living in this hole would be reward enough for the man. What did you say your name was again? Uh, Ed. So, Ed, you come to see me about the missing link, have you? Yes, I read your article, and I thought it was very interesting. You see, I'm a writer, and... Uh... As fascinating as your life story is, I'm sure, uh, my kind of research is very expensive. And the grants have been a little scarce lately, Ed, so, uh... <clears throat> Oh, 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 yes, of course. All right, well, I met the missing link Tarzan while on expedition to Africa. Tarzan? Yes, Ed, but don't get ahead of me. Archimedes Q. Porter had disappeared in the African jungle, and I was determined to rescue my dear colleague. I found my old friend in no time at all. It was a heartfelt reunion. Archimedes Q. Porter. Still in a tangle, I see. Samuel T. Philander, you cad! What are you doing here? Oh, Archie, you don't expect me to tell you all about my big jungle discovery, do you? Well, I... Uh, big uh, discovery? Oh, yes. History-making, I'd say. Surprised you haven't stumbled across it yet. Well, actually, Samuel, I found quite a number of uh, remarkable things. Oh, is this one of them? <laughs> What's he supposed to be, the missing link? Sir, that is my son-in-law. And that's when I first met Tarzan. Oh, congratulations, Jane. He's exactly the kind of man I expected you to marry. <laughs> well, nice chatting, Archie. But I'm off to do my science. Ta-ta! But that's not the real story. 
While there, using my shrewd scientific senses, what's old Porter up to in there? I don't know, Professor, but it's something very small. Don't, don't go away! <laughs> go on! Go and get a banana! What's he waiting on? Come on, man, make your move! You're a crafty devil, Porter. <laughs> oh, 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 no, wait, wait. I see something. Looks like Archie's on the move. Oh. Quickly now. What's that sound? The <gasps> sound of a primordial world, I'd wager. Hmm. Now, what do you suppose this is all about? I discovered something beyond my wildest dreams. Dinosaurs. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Did you say dinosaurs? Here, my dissertation on Pellucidar. Oh, Pellucidar? What's that? An ancient underground world of dinosaurs. Ah, dinosaurs. Uh-huh. Yes, living, breathing remnants of an ancient age. You see, they live in a massive underground cavern, long hidden from the world. I immediately grasped the historic significance of this find and sought to document it. I wasn't looking for any personal glory, mind you. Marvelous creature. Simply extraordinary. And guess which one of us has proof that it exists? <laughs> My only desire was to share this important discovery with the entire world. Gentlemen, what we'll see here today is no less than undeniable proof that dinosaurs still walk the Earth. Ah, skeptics, eh? Well, show the first slide. That is... A, well, that's obviously not a dinosaur. Um, that's a baby baboon. Shouldn't be here. Sorry. Uh, all right. Next slide! <laughs> <laughs> uh, charming. <clears throat> Next slide! That is the... Baboon's posterior. <laughs> Curse Tarzan! Curse him and his nefarious monkey friend! Well, Doctor, I've kept you long enough. You don't believe me, do you? No, 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 no! I, I'm sure the savage wild man did indeed show you real live dinosaurs. You're laughing at me! Just like they did at the Academy! Get out! 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 You sneak at all you want, but someday the world will drop to the ground and kiss the feet of Dr. Samuel T. Belinda! Where's my money? Yeah, so much for inspiration. Hey, Ed. Sell any stories lately? Uh... No, actually, haven't sold anything for a while now. Well, I always like your stories, Ed. They always got, you know, creativity. So, what you working on now? This. Wild man, huh? Sounds interesting. Yeah, I thought so too, but then I met with the guy who took the photo, and he's a certifiable nut. Well, nut or not, there's still a guy in a loincloth in this picture, right? Yeah, but I... And near as I can tell, those are real apes, right? Uh, that's true. I... Listen, I'm no writer, but if it was me, I'd go check it out a little more. You know what? You're right. All right, Tarzan. You're here somewhere. And I'm gonna find you. Excuse me. Uh, I was wondering if you two could help me find someone. Well, sure thing, pal. We're always game to help a fellow countryman. Stars and bars, we love them. Where are you from, Tiny? Chicago. Sh -sh -sh Chicago? Say, you don't happen to work for a guy who goes by the name of Joey the Shark, do you? Uh, no, never heard of him. Oh. <gasps> Well, I'm just a writer looking for a story to tell. Stories? Say, hey, we got stories. Yeah, and lots of them. Actually, I was interested in a particular story. A legend, really. Well, you're in luck. That's right. We're legends in our own time. Right. See, we used to be in the Foreign Legion. 
Let me paint the picture. There we were, on the run from the evil Colonel Spockade. That's right, on the run and under the gun. Come on, we'll head north, towards Europe. You know, Paris, the Eiffel Tower, croissants. Not so fast, Junior. That's exactly what they'll expect us to do. We'll head south instead. South? There's nothing that way but jungle. Exactly. They won't ever think to look for us there. Well, now, why not? Because a couple of guys like us wouldn't last a minute in the jungle. <laughs> You're a genius, Hoop. And that's why we'll stay one step ahead, Hugo. Superior intellect. And who has that? Now, the jungle, she's a beautiful, fierce lady. And what a lady. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, not going to make it. You go on without me. OK, buddy. Go on without me. Yeah, go on without me. I can't go on without you. We're chained together. Yeah, right. OK, well, I'll go on without you then. Almost bought the farm a few times. Yeah, if it hadn't been for old Tarzan swooping in. Wait a minute. D did you say Tarzan? Yeah, Tarzan, our good buddy. Is this him? Hey, there's Nature Boy. Not very photogenic, is he? Well, I say the camera has 10 pounds. You know the missing link? You're friends with him? Sure, shooting. Like I was saying, if Tarzan hadn't swept in and say. Hold on there, Hugo. Now, say, if this fellow's a writer looking to tell a story about a hero. Ah. Why not make him think we're the heroes? You catch on quick, Junior? That's right, I do. Anywho, like Hugo was saying, if Tarzan hadn't swept in and gotten in the way. Oh, nice trapeze work there, pal. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're a real swinging kind of guy. <laughs> Dispatching your various jungle beasts would have been a breeze. Yeah, poor Tarzan. I guess he just doesn't have our raw, savage instinct. Whoa! Oh, hey, buddy. Nice catch. <laughs> sure, we're naturals to the jungle. Took to it right away. Yeah, not like Tarzan. He's still learning the ropes. Oh, faster, faster! Get out of his face already. He's got to go faster! <laughs> Whoa, you got to come up here. The view is incredible. You know, the guy's heart's in the right place, but he's just not cut out for action the way we are. So, Tarzan's just an ordinary man, huh? There's nothing at all special about him? Well, I mean, he he does need a haircut. Listen, this whole Raised by Apes legend kind of just snowballed out of control. Yeah, we're not even sure if it's true. I mean, his bomb may have been half lemur. Fact is, there's just not that much to Tarzan. But if you're searching for the stars of your next adventure... Look no farther, my good man. Yeah, now let's talk about royalties for a second here, shall we? I figure we can get 50 and a half cents on the dollar. Yeah, each. Oh, good thinking, Junior. <sighs> Nothing. Came all this way for nothing. Very good, sir. Here is your ticket. The ship departs for New York in the morning. Good. Never should have come here in the first place. What's this? A dissatisfied customer? Oh, as the proprietor of this establishment, I am quite alarmed. No, it's nothing you did, Monsieur Dumont. It's all me. I came on a fool's quest looking for some crazy jungle man legend. It's probably not even true. Jungle man? You mean Tarzan? Yeah, that's him. Is he real? Oh, I should say so. I could tell you much about our jungle man. Well, please do. Sir, everything here is for sale, and nothing isn't. Yeah, a payoff, huh? Uh, my memory is still a bit foggy. Mm-hmm. What is it with everyone being so hard up for cash? Tarzan and I met under most unusual circumstances. I had come to Africa to build a dream, but my dream was Tarzan's nightmare. Why, if it isn't Tarzan, my favorite ape man. Now, boats will arrive at the dock, main inventory will be housed in this room over here. You must leave. I beg your pardon? The rhino herd you drove off has moved into gorilla lands. I see. Then you will give the rhinos their land back. Mm. No. I won't. <gasps> but the gorillas! As I told you before, I have no interest in gorillas, neither in harming them nor in helping them. 
You know you are a dangerous fellow, Tarzan. <laughs> I believe you would be more valuable to me as a friend. If you stay, we will not be friends. Perhaps. But we don't have to be enemies, either. I found that these were very effective in driving rhinos away. I could extend you a line of credit. <laughs> I never did learn how Tarzan used the dynamite. Have you seen Tarzan? Not since he got back from the trading post. Well, what was he doing there? Oh, probably still figuring a way to get rid of those rhinos. <laughs> Explosives? The rhinos? Oh my goodness, we have to stop him! Incredible stuff. You know, monsieur, the best way to learn about Tarzan is to speak to the man himself. <gasps> Me? Talk to Tarzan? Where do I find him? In the jungle, naturally. The jungle. That's, uh, that's a big place. Well, I could narrow your search for the proper prize. Yeah, don't worry, my friend. I'll find Tarzan myself. I mean, how hard can it be? <sighs> Apparently, pretty hard. Oh, this was not one of my better ideas. Nope. Not a good idea at all. I am. Oh, that... that was amazing. Tarzan, I've never seen anything like it. You know me? Know you? I came halfway around the world to meet you. So, let me get this straight. You fought snakes. Apes. Rhinos. Hyenas. Alligators. Dinosaurs? So, the dinosaur stuff is real? Yes. I guess I owe Doc Philander an apology. <laughs> Jane, is something wrong? Well, yes, a little. Ed, you seem to be fascinated with all the fighting, all the action, but if I may be so bold, I think you're missing the point. I am? Oh, yes. There's much more to Tarzan than fisticuffs and fury. You see, I certainly never expected to find myself living in the jungle with a wild man who'd been raised by apes. I like it. I still haven't got used to that entrance. And sometimes jungle life has been harder than I ever imagined it could be. Jane? I'm fine. Very fine. Doing quite well here. <laughs> Can carry you. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not some burden that needs to be carried everywhere. <laughs> but 
Tarzan has been there every step of the way. Thank you. Oh, you must be tired of doing that. Not really. Sharing the adventure of his world. I'm getting better at this! You see, but Tarzan isn't the brute so many so-called civilized people think he is. Quite the contrary. He has the gentlest heart of anyone I've ever met. And if you don't understand that, well, then you don't understand Tarzan. Well, it appears there's much more to you than I initially thought. I came looking for a savage wild man, but I found a lot more. I found an inspiration. Well? Ed, this is the one they'll remember you for. You really think so? Absolutely, Ed. Oh, it's pure gold. Next up, a classic tune pulled off the shelf and polished to perfection here on Disney's Cinemagic.